Hi everyone, this is Nate with People for Health and Fitness, and this is beginner circuit training. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. We're going to do three rounds of exercises, and in each round, there's eight exercises that last 40 seconds apiece. So the first exercise we're going to do is you can grab a set of weights. We're going to do just a front alternating shoulder raise. So what that means is you're going to take a nice wide base, hands to the front of your thighs. You're going to go one at a time to shoulder height, one at a time to shoulder height. So it's real simple. Turn the knuckles away from you so your arms straight up, your knuckles are facing the ceiling. And we'll go in three, two, one. Here we go. Straight arms, knuckles face up, okay? Go like so. Yep, turn it so your knuckles face up, nice and slowly, one at a time, shoulder height only. You can always use your core to help with your posture. You got one more in each arm. Good. Okay, place one of those down. You're going to hang on to the other one. We're going to do a straight arm pullback. So what that means is I'm going to take the weight in my right hand, get my left foot, left arm out in front. I'm going to take a forward lean, and I'm just going to pull back with a straight arm, very little. You can always put your hand on something like I am, a chair or an end table, anything like that, or you could just use your leg. If you use your leg, it looks like this. Okay, so right hand, forward knee, in three, two, one, here we go. Nice and slow pull. We're going to go three more. Last one. Good. We'll stand up. You do not need any weights for the next one, so you can just hold off for now. We're going to do a rock back on the heels. Oh, you can't see my feet. Hang on. All right. You're going to rock back on the heels and then up on the toes. Okay? So, rock you back. I'm going to hold the chair. You don't have to, you can do it, just practice a balance if you want, okay? So you want to rock back on the heels and then push up off the toes. We're going five, four, three, two, one, we're up, rocking back. Ten seconds. Last one. Good. Okay. Next up, we're gonna grab one weight. We're gonna hold just the one weight. You're gonna hold on to the ends of it. We're gonna lift off just to a very slight angle. So you're holding on to the ends. I'm gonna tighten my core. I'm gonna lift just to a slight angle to the side. Bring it down, then we're gonna lift slight angle to the other side. Okay, so just back and forth between those two. So here we go. Three, two, one, and we're up. Use your core. Keep everything facing forward. I want you to keep your abs nice and tight. You don't have to reach too far to the side, just a slight angle. And that's just to get more abs involved. Go one more each direction. Last one, bring it down, good. You can place your weight down. Standing hip abduction. We're going to do right leg this round. 
you can hold on to something or you don't have to. We're just gonna kick out to the side with one leg. Okay, so one leg, right leg, and three, two, one, go ahead. You don't have to hold on to anything. If you want to, you can hold on to something. A set of shoulder circles. So shoulder circles, arms go out to the side. We're going to do a circular pattern. I'm going to let you know we're going to reverse it to the opposite direction, okay? So here we go, arms out. Start a circle, doesn't matter which direction. Go ahead. Reverse. Reverse it. Reverse it one more time. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Reverse lunge for legs. So what that means is you're gonna stand up tall. I'm gonna take my right leg, just step back and then stepping up, nice and easy. Step back, step up, step back, step up. Okay, you don't have to go super deep unless you feel more comfortable going deep. We'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Stepping back, nice and easy. Good, keep going. You can always do squats if you don't feel comfortable doing anything, but this one you kind of have a lot of control by how far you go. You can go real shallow, you can go deeper if you feel like it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a pause. One more exercise in this first round. We're gonna grab one single weight. We're gonna do a tricep kick back. So we've done this before in class. I'm going to use a chair just to lean forward on. I'm going to pull my elbow up and then extend my weight back nice and slow. Okay, so it looks like so. Elbow stays up. Elbow doesn't move. It doesn't take a lot of weight at all. You should have a very light weight. Hopefully you have a light weight or just use no weight at all. Okay, we're going three, two, one, forward lean, elbow up, then back. Good, try to maintain that good posture, nice flat back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, we'll take our first break. That was one round. Take a 30 second break and then we'll come back.
two. Make our way back to the front. Grab your weights. Alternating front shoulder raise. So hands to the front, one at a time to shoulder height. Here we go. And go ahead. Shoulder height, shoulder height. Right past halfway, keep the pace slow. Go one more each arm. Last one. Good. You can place one of those down. Hang on to the other one. This one, straight arm pull back with the left arm. So I'm going to go right arm, right leg forward. Left arm, and then we pull back nice and slow. Okay, so left arm, good forward lean in three, two, one. Go ahead. Try not to swing the weight quickly. You're going to keep it slow. Nice pull back. Three, two, last one. Good. You can place that down. We have our rock back on the heels. Push up on the toe. Okay, calf raises and toe raises. So, real simple, doesn't require much explanation. Are we going three, two, one? Toes up, heels up. Toes up, heels up. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. We'll take one uh, dumbbell again. All right, it's going to be our angled core extension. So hold on to the ends. Tighten up your abs. You're going to lift slowly to an angle. Lift slowly to another angle. All right, we're going three. Two, one, here we go. Keep the pace slow. Don't lean back. That's why you want to use the core. One more. Good. You can place that down. You can hold on to something for the next one. No weights needed. You're going to do a side hip abduction for the left leg. So we kick out left leg to the side, left leg to the side. So why don't we go in five, four, three, two, one. Toes and hips face forward. Good, you guys keep going. Try to keep your toes and hips face forward. You got 15 seconds to go.
five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take a pause there. Okay. Lower body's resting. We're going to do our shoulder circles next. So it looks like this, and then we're going to reverse it when I tell you. Okay. We'll take a few seconds. All right, here we go. Arms up. Go ahead. Two, one, reverse it. Three, two, one, reverse it. Three, two, one, last reverse. Three, two, one, relax the arms. Reverse lunging. We have our left leg. So you're going to stand up tall, step back with your left leg, and then come back up. Left leg, back up. Okay? So here we go. Left leg, go ahead. Only go as deep as you feel comfortable. You can go real shallow. You can go much deeper. You can also do squats. I'm always going to give you the opportunity to do squats in case you don't feel comfortable doing any leg exercises. Do a round of squats. Got 15 seconds. Let's go two more of them. Good. You can stand up. Take a second. We got one more in this round. You're going to want to grab one weight. It's going to be our left arm kick back. I'm going to use the chair. You can use anything around you or your leg. You want a nice forward knee. So we're going to get elbow pull up. That's our step back one. And then extending the weight back. Doesn't take much weight. So if you have too heavy of a weight, I'd rather have you do it no weight at all. Okay? Go we'll three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Take a break, grab a drink. We'll take another thirty second break. All right, let's make our way back for round three. Come on back to the front. Bring a set of weights with you. Starting with our alternating front shoulder raise. Hands to the front, one to the front, other to the front. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. We can go a little bit quicker this time. This is our third time through. We kind of have already done each exercise twice. Kind of familiar with what's coming at us. Take a pace a little.
Last one. Good. You can place one of those down. Straight arm, pull back. We're going to do half and half. Meaning, we're going to do half one arm. I'm going to tell you halfway. We're going to switch to the other side. So it doesn't matter which arm you started with. Just get your opposite foot in front. Three, two, one. Good. Here we go. Last one, stand up, other arm, same deal, go ahead, good forward lean, slow pull back, straight arm, go ahead. Last one. Good. Stand up tall. You can place your weight down. Next up, we have our calf raise. Our calf raise, and then up on the toes. Okay. So heel raise, toe raise, and three, two, one. Go ahead. Rock right back, up, back. Last one. Good. Let's grab a single dumbbell. We're going to do our angled core. So we hold on to the end. One to the front. Other one to the front. Okay. Hold on to the end of your weight. And here we go, off to an angle, keep your abs nice and tight, off to another angle. Two more. Last one. Good. You click that down. Next up, hold on to something if you want. Is our side hip abduction just kicking to the side with our leg? We're going to do half and half, so I don't care which leg you want to start with. Let's go three, two, one. Go ahead, pick a leg, toes and hips face forward. What I mean by that is when you do it, you don't kick the toe out to the side, pointing it up towards the ceiling. We want to use the outer hip to do it. One more. Change legs. Go ahead. Right away. Three, two, one. Take a break. Palm stretch. Three exercises to go. All right, first one is going to be the side shoulder circles, and then we're going to reverse it. We're going three, two, one. Here we go. Reverse it. Reverse. And reverse. Two, 
One. Good. Relax the arms. All right. Mixing that up with the legs. This is going to be reverse one. I'll give you two choices. If you want, you can alternate. Or you can do one leg at a time if you want to get a little rhythm. And I'll let you know it's halfway and you can change the other leg. You can either alternate or do one leg and I'll let you know halfway. Let's go three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice and easy. Stepping back. There's your halfway if you're only doing one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take a break from that one. Here's our last one, our triceps kickback. One single weight. Or, like I said, if your weight's too heavy, five pounds or more, I wouldn't do it. I would just do it with no weight. You're going to lean forward, elbow up, extend back. Okay? So here we go. Pick an arm. Opposite leg goes out in front. And here we go. Elbow up, extend back slowly. Two more of them, and then you can stand up, change hands, and you can get started as soon as you're set up in your position. Change your feet, and there you go. Go ahead. 20 seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, stand up. Good job, everyone. Thanks for coming to class.